What is happening everybody? Hello and welcome back to Toto Blast, where we discuss about everything Marvel in the MCU. The excitement for Marvel Studios presence at this year's San Diego Con is rich in a fever peach, and fans may expect exciting updates on highly anticipated projects. And 2023 will be an ideal time to confirm fan favorite casting slash characters for each of these shows and in Marvel Volleyball Fan Cloud. Moreover, Marvel Studios is renowned for keeping their greatest announcement for events like SDCC, with last year's most dramatic announcement being fleshed out multiverse saga unveiling, which included critically shifting Phase 4 project into Phase 5 and potentially Phase 6. This took spectators closer to the 5th and 6th Avengers film, which will conclude the next trilogy of phases following Endgame. What does the MC have in store for 2023 and beyond? Well, we'll probably find out inside of Hall H during this year's San Diego Comic Con, which takes place in July of this year. And today, we're going to be talking about all of that, from what is to be expected from this year's SDCC to what is currently happening in Marvel Studios. But before we go into all of the juicy details of today's gossip, just wanted to let you guys know that we're still giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel to one lucky subscriber. More on how to win at the end of this video. And if this is your first time, Please subscribe and enable the post notifications so you don't miss out on subsequent videos. And now, that Black Panther Wakanda Forever has officially concluded Phase 4, and we're two Marvel movies into Phase 5. It's about time that Phase 6 gets some attention. And now, keep in mind that the roadmap will probably change now that the Writers Guild of America strike began on May 2nd of this year. And as a result of this development, all projects following November 10th, 2023's The Marvels are anticipated to face substantial delays and production challenges as writers and studios bargain for a higher remuneration. The Walt Disney Company has urged the showrunners and producers to continue work, yet this is clearly insufficient to counterattract the MCU's anticipated year or even more delays. Already, the much-anticipated Marasha Halley's Blade has been put on indefinite pause. Not every single future movie has been expressly delayed for the time being. Who knows what will happen afterwards? And it's only natural that with all the exciting new project announcements building up to Avengers Secret Wars, Marvel Studios will oblige to modify key timetables to better reflect the current reality. Now, speculations and rumors surrounding the MCU's Fantastic Four has been widespread, and the SDCC could be the venue where the studio finally puts an end to the speculation. Fans are anticipating an official announcement that will include the iconic superhero team in the ever-expanding MCU, opening up unlimited possibilities and thrilling experiences. And according to Marvel sources, Marvel Studios' cast Reed Richard, aka Mr. Fantastic, as well as Sue Storm, aka The Invincible Woman. With speculation circulating about Adam Driver playing Reed Richard, Maggot Robbie playing Sue Storm, Paul Mesco playing Johnny Storm, aka The Human Torch, and David Diggs playing Ben Grimm, aka The Thing. Anyways, we'd like to get some confirmation about the official Marvel Cinematic Universe Fantastic Four superhero. And on the other hand, we could be getting something on Shang-Chi 2, probably a title and release date, because following on from the popularity of 2021's Shang-Chi and Legend of the Ten Rings, directed by Destin Daniel Creighton, starring Simi Liu as Shang-Chi slash Sean, a second Shang-Chi franchise film is likely inevitable. The movie, which focused on Shang-Chi and his father Wen Wu slash the Mandarin, played by Tony Luan, is one of the better liked MCU Phase 4 movies which regrettably came out in the height of COVID-19 crisis has a lot more potential to live up with a significant MCU plot element teased at the end of that movie. And it seems likely that Shang-Chi's role and that of other characters from the franchise, such as Aquafina's Cathy Shang, will be developed and integrated more deeply into the Marvel canon, because he has yet to substantially integrate with other members of the Avengers, apart from Benedict Wong's Wong. And another upcoming Disney Plus series is Wonder Man, which is based on Marvel comic character whose real name is Simon Williams. Williams is a prosperous industrialist who was falsely accused of embezzlement and turned into a superhuman by the evil Baron Zemo. Wonder Man, who could project iconic energy, was originally dispatched to kill the Avengers, but later gave his life to save them and was reborn as a hero. All that is currently known about the program is that it's going to be directed by none other than Destin Daniel Creighton and that Ben Kingsley will reprise his role as Trevor Slattery from Iron Man 3. Although, Nathan Fillon played Simeon Williams in a deleted scene from Garden of the Galaxy Vol. 2. Ayah Abdul Matin II was cast as Wonder Man. Dimitris Gurus has been cast as Simon's brother Grim Reaper. Lauren Glazer in a supporting part and Head Aris as his agent. Additionally, Josh God allegedly joined the cast. Additionally, we'll probably learn something new about the cast of Daredevil Born Again and Agatha Coven of Chaos. Additionally, we have an updated delay release schedule for these much-awaited Disney Plus series. And due to production issues, the debut of Agatha Coven of Chaos, a forthcoming WandaVision spin-off series featuring Agatha Harkness and acting as a significant continuation of the original show has been postponed indefinitely. The publication of the show is further complicated and uncertain by the ongoing Writers Guild of America strike. In addition to Sasha Zamata, Ali Hannah Maradiza, who has been cast in non-disclosed roles, Joe Locke from Heartstopper will play Billy Maximoff, 
Wanda Sun on the Superhero Weekend from Marvel Comics. Yeah. Broadway legend Patty Lupin will play an older witch named Lilia Cagalru from the titular Witch's Coven. Daredevil Born Again on the Hot End is currently in production but hampered by the WGA strike. Previously, Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige announced the brand new 18th episode Daredevil series titled Daredevil Born Again at San Diego Comic Con 2022 bringing a fresh iteration of Daredevil to DC+. Plus. And it has, however, not been without controversy, particularly among fans of the original Drew Gorad-directed Daredevil 2015 Netflix Marvel series. Matt Murdock, played by Charlie Cox, appears to be missing his most faithful companions and partners in crime, Foggy Nelson, played by Heldon Helsin, and Karen Page, played by Deborah Han Wall. Furthermore, Ayelet Zerua's Vanessa Fisk will be replaced, even though her canonically husband, Wilskin Fisk, aka Kimpin, played by Vincent D'Onofrio, is set to return after his MCU debut in Orkai of 2021, alongside returning hero Frank Castle, aka The Punisher, played by John Benthel. Also, we could get a trailer for Loki because in the second season, the charismatic Tom Hiddleston will triumphantly return as Loki. The spectators may be treated to an exclusive trailer revealing the mischief and mayhem that await. And it's probably that the Avengers The Kang Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars will be delayed. Especially with what's going on with the WGA and especially Jonathan Majors, who is currently in hot waters for assault. Moreover, the last we heard of Loki is that the TV show was undergoing some major reshoots. This begs the question, is Jonathan Majors still playing the big bad Kang the Conqueror in the MCU or not? Well, that's a million dollar question. We wouldn't know for now until we'll probably see what Loki's season two has to offer and if we're lucky, we're going to hear about it in the All Age announcement. Furthermore, the Marvels led by the amazing Brie Lawson is about to soar into the spotlight, providing a fascinating glance into the Marvel Universe. Then, we begin to see trailers for Ironheart and Echo. Now that both of these programs have been filmed and they are both upcoming and the idea for an SDC trailer release. Aside from the fact that it will follow Maya Lopez on the journey back to Oklahoma from New York City after Orkai, where she will find herself reconnecting with her Native American roots, and not much is known about the series Echo on Disney+, Plus, which stars Maya Lopez slash Echo, played by Alakwa Cox. Vincent D'Onofrio will play Whiskin Fisk, aka Kimpin, and Charlie Cox will play Matt Murdock slash Daredevil. And who knows, we could be getting an Eternals 2 and announcement release date. Amma was announcement and release date and shows like Vision Quest, Nova, Miss Marvel Season 2, and I also know that fans are hoping for something to be said on Black Panther spin-off the Okoye series, but that's a long shot. Anyways, I'm kind of hoping that something might be said about Captain America 4's new title, which is no longer New World Order, but Brave New World, according to a post by the new Captain America actor Anthony McKee. There's undoubtedly a lot to anticipate on the MCU, particularly in 2023 San Diego Comic Con, given that their most recent film, the much-loved Guardians of the Galaxy Film 3, was directed by James Gunn, who is now in charge of their largest competition, DC Studios. So... Marvel Studios will definitely need to step up their game because James Gunn heading to DC will be quite a competition for Marvel Studios. And that wraps up the news. But before we head out, don't forget that we're still giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel to one lucky subscriber once we hit a milestone of a thousand subscribers. And all you have to do to win is watch our videos, subscribe, turn on post notifications, like and comment. And one lucky subscriber will be chosen from the comment section to win a brand new PlayStation 5. Also, want to say thank you to everyone who has ever supported us this far. We truly appreciate it. What are your thoughts on this video? And what do you anticipate at the 2023 Marvel San Diego Comic Con All Age presentation? Please, don't forget to like this video and share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss out on any of our latest Marvel news. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one.